For section 1.2, we're expanding brackets. We're also simplifying um, algebraic fractions. So expanding brackets, single brackets, you will multiply what's outside of the bracket by everything inside the bracket. So negative 3x times 7x is negative 21, because the negative 3 times 7, x squared because of x times x. And then I'm multiplying negative 3x by negative 4. Negative times a negative is a positive, and it's a positive 12x. The same here, I'm multiplying y squared by 3, and y squared by 2x squared y cubed by this whole um, term. So 3 times y squared is 3y squared. Always put the number first. And then it's going to be negative, because that's a positive times a negative. And I'm going to have negative 2x squared. And then the y squared times the y cubed, I add the powers when I multiply the same base. So I have y to the power of 5. This, I'm going to multiply everything by 4x, a positive 4x. 4x times 3x is 12x squared. 4x times negative 2x squared is a negative 8x cubed. And 4x times a positive 5x cubed is a positive 20. And it's going to be x to the power of 4. For the next one, we are going to be multiplying the 2x by the first bracket and the negative 5x. It's not simply a take away 5 times the bracket. It's also a negative 5. So multiply it uh, by the 2x and multiply it by the negative 1. So 2x times 5x is 10x squared. 2x times 3 is a plus 6x. Negative 5 times 2x is negative 10x, and negative 5 times negative 1 is a plus 5. And then I would collect like terms. The x terms are alike, so that's a quadratic, and I get 10x squared plus 6 take away 10 is negative 4x plus 5. That's your final answer. So always expand and simplify if possible. The other um, questions we could not simplify because there were no like terms. x squared is different to x cubed is different to x to the power of 4. And simplifying algebraic fractions. The first thing I would do is um, factorize if I can. That is basically your keyword. The top can be factorized. There is a common factor, and the common factor is the x to the power of 4. x to the power of 4 times, well, I need to multiply it by x to the power of 3 to get x to the power of 7. And I don't need to multiply it by any x's. I need to simply multiply it by 1 to get x to the power of 4. And all of this is over, is divided by x cubed. Because the top is a multiplication, I can do the division. x to the power of 4 divided by x to the power of 3 gives me simply an x. So my final answer is x times x cubed plus 1. Or you can multiply out the brackets if you want and get x to the power of 4 plus x. I would do exactly the same for question f. I start by factorizing. I hope you can see that there is a common factor between the 3 and the 6. So I look at the numbers as well as the letters. 3 brackets. Ooh. And then I look at the letters. And the highest common factor between the x's is an x squared. So again, I multiply by 1 because I simply need it to become to give me 3x squared. And then minus 2x cubed. 
all over 2x. Well, the 3, um, the 2 doesn't divide into the 3, so I can't do much here, but x squared divided by x leaves me with just an x. So my final answer is going to be 3x times 1 minus 2x cubed over 2. You can leave it like that or you can multiply um, out these brackets as well. You don't need to. And this one, 20x to the power of 7 plus 15x cubed. Again, I'm going to factorize the top and the highest common factor between 20 and 15 is 5. And the highest common factor between x to the power of 7 and x cubed is x cubed. So to get 20x to the power of 7, I need to multiply the 5 by the 4 and the x cubed by x to the power of 4. And to get from 5 to 15, I need to multiply it by 3. And I don't need to multiply by any x's because I already have the x cubed. All over 5x squared. Well, 5 divided by 5 is 1. x cubed divided by x squared is simply an x. So my final answer is x brackets 4x to the power of 4 plus 3. You can leave it like that or you can expand the bracket. And finally, looking at expanding double brackets, you can use the box method if you are used to that one. x plus 5, x plus 2, x times x is x squared, um, positive 5 plus x is plus 5x, positive 2 times x is plus 2x, and then plus 10. And you would collect like terms. So you would get a three term quadratic x squared plus, well, 2x plus 5x is 7x plus 10. Or you can remember that you multiply everything um, in each bracket by everything else in the other bracket. So x times x and x times 2, 5 times 2 and 5 times x. You'll get the same thing x squared plus 2x plus 5x plus 10. Um, always be sure to put the um, x squared term first, uh, certainly if it's positive, and make sure you simplify. So x squared plus 7x plus 10. The x squared term, then the x term, then the number on its own at the end. That's also another double bracket. I'm multiplying x by x squared, x by 1. Then I'll multiply um, 2y by 1 and 2y by x squared. x times x squared is x cubed. x times 1 is a plus x plus 1x. Negative 2y times x squared is negative 2 x squared y. Usually we like to put the letters in alphabetical order, but if you write negative 2y x squared, that is not wrong. And then negative 2y plus 1 is negative um, 2y. There are no like terms, and so you can't simplify anymore. This bracket is a bracket squared which means it's actually a double bracket, a bracket multiplied by itself. So I've got x times x, x times negative y, negative y times negative y, negative y times x. x times x is x squared, negative y times x is negative xy. Um, and then negative and then x times negative y is the same thing, negative xy. And then negative y times negative y is a positive, because it's negative times a negative y squared. These two are like terms, and so you simplify them. x squared. 
Well, this is a minus 1xy minus 1xy. So it's a minus 2xy plus y squared. This is also a double bracket, and I'm going to multiply x by everything. So each um, term has to be multiplied by everything um, in the other bracket, and I'm going to multiply the y by everything too. So x times 3x, 3x squared. x times negative 2y, negative 2xy x times negative 4, negative 4x. Then I start with the y. y times 3x is a plus 3xy. y times negative 2y, negative 2y squared. y times negative 4, negative 4y. And then I look for like terms. Well, negative 2xy plus 3xy, and no other terms are like terms. So 3x squared minus 2 plus 3 is a plus 1. So plus xy minus 4x minus 2y squared minus 4y. And for this one, you can either start by multiplying the double bracket or you can start um, by multiplying the x into the first one. x times 2x plus 3 is 2x squared plus 3x. That becomes a bracket, and then you multiply by the second bracket. 2x squared by x is 2x cubed. 2x squared times negative 7 is negative 14x squared. 3x times x is plus 3x squared. And 3x times negative 7 is negative 21x. And do I have like terms? Yes, I do. So my final answer is 2x cubed. You've got minus 14 plus 3 which is um, minus 11x squared minus 21x. And finally, we're going to look at multiplying three brackets. First thing you do is you multiply the first two um, by each other. So that's x squared minus 4x plus 3x minus 12. And I simplify by collecting like terms. x squared minus 4 plus 3 is um, minus 1x, so minus x, minus 12. And that's a bracket on its own. And then I'm going to multiply by the final one. Now, for triple brackets, I quite like to use um, the box. I find the arrows uh, to be a bit too much. So I'm going to put the three terms at the top. I just like to put the three terms at the top. Um, in multiplication, the order doesn't matter. 5x minus 2. 5x times x squared, 5x cubed. Negative 5x squared, because I'm multiplying negative x by 5x. Negative 12 by 5x is negative 60x. And then I've got negative 2 times x squared, negative 2x squared. Negative times negative is a positive 2x. And then negative times negative, so negative 2 times negative 12 is a plus 24. And then I've got two sets of like terms. These are like terms. And these are like terms. So my final answer is 5x cubed. We've got minus 2, minus 5, minus 7x squared. If, um, I mean, you should be able to do this very quickly in your head, but if you need to double check, you would type in your calculator, you'd forget the letters and you type minus 2, minus 5. You simply type what you see 
and you'll get minus 7. So minus 7x squared and then minus 60 plus 2 is minus 58x plus 24. So this is multiplying um, triple brackets.